Hi everyone, it's been a while, it's been a while but first of all I'd like to say I'm back and I'm better and then secondly I want to say hello to everybody who is new. I've talked to a few of you on the comments but there's quite a lot, you know, the family is growing and I'm so appreciative of each and every one of you and I hope you guys stick around. As most of the originals <laughs> of this channel know, when the hair is out we are doing something, we are really trying something and for me today what I'm trying is braids knowing full well that my hair is got a temper with braids if you want any of these items if you want to purchase a condone go ahead <laughs> me saying this and I don't know what the result is gonna be either the links are in the description box below the utensils we're gonna need let's start right into it we we have a rat tail and then I have this to clip away the mane this comes in a bundle as well I got this 24 inches of the T30 I don't even know but it comes bundled up like this and you get eight of them use my trusty dandy tangle teaser can you see her she's a pretty beaut my hair is already washed detangled I blue dry my hair though today not today, but the day I washed my hair, I tried a new product. Look at me daring to go out of my comfort zone. Um, I used this. Can you focus? So I tried this shampoo. All right, so let's get into it. This is the length. I don't know if you can probably see the length. Um, I didn't even tell you guys. First of all, I wanted to go into a life update, but I did not even tell you guys what the actual style is called it's sometimes called jaded braids but it also you know the bubble braids do you know the bubble braids i'll put a picture pew 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 so we'll see how it works out oh okay now i'm remembering that i need another something this is also what i got from amazon black and clear rubber bands no words let me start the process like i normally do i first start with my fingers i don't know if that is straight only you can tell me because the one thing with braids they will show you they will show you when your lines are not straight with mini twists that's why i like twists they're gonna plump up you know everybody's gonna do their thing and then you won't really see the lines mini braids will expose you exposed i myself should probably invest in the three-part mirror but who knows why we're not doing it but anyways this is what we've got I genuinely have no idea if this thing is straight anymore. At this point, we're gonna be here for hours if I try. You know what? This is the part I hate. I hate parting. And yes, yes, Danielle, but you say not to brush your hair when it's dry. Love, there's exceptions to the rule. If your hair's moisturized, it's fine. But you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> My problem is, for the section that I went, how much do I take? I feel like these are going to be mini mini braids guys, I didn't want that. How about that guys? Does that sound, does that look okay? And then this one can also be separated. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Okay, so basically, from my understanding, this thickness of whatever strand you've picked up is the amount of hair that you take from here. Am I wrong? Please, professionals, correct me. I feel like braids are oh my gosh. Does that look like the one I showed you guys? They always do this. <laughs> I feel like they're professional. Also, this is pre-stretched hair, by the way. I didn't mention that. What does that mean? That means you don't have to like feather out the ends. They're already feathered. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, life update. I am finally, well, we don't have our results yet, but I am finally a first year foundation year graduate. I am on break, I'm on holiday. Um, so yeah guys, the reason why I've been absent for a month, a month and a half is because there was exams and it's my first time doing university exams so I was like, let me let me focus where I can so that's what, where I've been secondly, I did have a birthday pass quite a while ago I turned 20 so I'm out of my teens don't play with me but yeah, I think we're gonna stop for now because my chair isn't big enough Basically, your hair is in the middle, the braid hair goes over, and then you're gonna hook, the left hand will go underneath, and then the right hand will go into the middle. And then at this point, I like pull everything closer to my scalp, and then now your hair is on the left hand side. 
your hair is going to turn to the middle and then I pull again some more and then on your right hand it will go underneath go into the middle your hair is on the right hand side and then the left will go into the middle your hair will go into the middle okay so the left hand goes into the middle going under the right hand goes under into the middle the left hand goes into the middle the right hand goes and into the middle and then I'm going to do it one more time until my hair is in the middle you're going to take a little bit of hair from the right hand side put it to your your hair so you join it to the middle and then you're also going to take you're also going to take a little bit of hair from the left hand side and join it to your hair so that your hair it must it must be longer <laughs> and then you're going to continue like you've been before the bubble braid part will start after my hair has ended so I'm going to braid for a little bit <laughs> doing the bubble braids here because I don't want my hair to be out because then the style won't last long and that's that's not the objective here for me I'm going to go up until here and then you're going to secure I'm going to be here for hours <laughs> the further along I go I start to like be fed up and I start making them bigger so hopefully like the actual bubble itself starts looking more full like two inches and then i end it that's it so this is your first one i need you to just step aside just a little bit this is your first one it is not tight at all for me you're not doing the bubble braid thing the whole time you're kind of like skipping rows skipping so on like the bottom row I'm just doing that left hand side and then in the second row I'll probably do two and then the third row maybe three or two again I don't think I told you I'm t I'm pressed pressed for time because I have work on Thursday it's Sunday today and it's not even Sunday morning no 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 it's Sunday around four o'clock in the afternoon so we've got our first three I'm hoping the next row can cover whatever mistakes it looks like it's going on in the background. And I'm going to part yet again. Will I spend another 10 minutes parting? Most likely. Will you see it? No. You'll just see the end product. How lucky. I love how I just abandoned the right tail comb. Shame. I'm satisfied. She is secure. Braids. You gotta do bricks, brick layering, brick stack layering method. Making sure that whatever you do pick is kind of the same thickness as you know what you've been doing. So, so so far this is our fourth braid. Can you guess from now how many braids I will have in my hair? Just throw a random guess in the comments. Let me know in the comment section what you guys would like to see from me. All you new people, you have a voice. Use it. I will listen a few moments later okay so basically what I did I was on a call with my mom so but I did four rows from the base up before I then constructed what I did to help me with this the middle part of my hair so I'm just gonna like talk you through what I did after you've done like four or five rows this is if you're doing small braids then stop what you're doing the hack I saw is you split your hair down the middle the rest of your hair so that's what I did I split it down the middle and then from behind your ears I don't know if you can see I don't know which side my mom said was the better side I have no idea <laughs> but from behind your ear you will now go like upwards in a rainbow kind of crescent something like round circular do you see and then try and like join the two and these will be your front sections do you see and then for the front sections you do six rows six rows this side six rows that side then you're done so i'm currently on the first row of the middle section of my head so this is currently where we are at this is currently what we're working with one minute past nine I don't remember when I started uh, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna keep working on this and then I'm gonna do these two front sections tomorrow morning Monday morning and hopefully I can be done by 6 p.m. I'm back I'm back and I'm better it's the morning actually wow it's five minutes to 12 this is how far I got 
um, I don't know if you will be able to see I got around to that like half moon area I'm really hoping it's like stacked well because it was getting into the 2 a.m. 3 a.m. 4 a.m. and I was like I'm so tired I just want to be done and my hands were like cramping so it's like I was like mm. I don't know how it's looking at the back but it's gonna have to do 10 hours straight consecutive for just that back section I think this is about the thickness that I want to go with I don't know we'll see we'll see try to make sure that's relatively the same thickness I've parted this section into six one two three four five six and then the same thing on that side what I want to do, do not just brazen pants I have no idea how to do them first of all the way I see it you keep adding hair small by small little by little so I think I'm going to take this and separate it into two three mm -hmm. <laughs> this is really trial and error you take your natural hair Split it into three as if you're going to do a normal braid. Now you've got left, middle, right. Left goes under middle, right goes under the left. Now the right side was is now in the middle and the left. Okay, you get it though. Now this section was in the middle and it's gonna go under the under this middle now. And then this the right hand side is gonna go under there. Once we have that part. I'm going to take our hair, bring it underneath, and attach it to the middle section and the left. So now it's like that, to my understanding. And then your right goes under both the middle and the section, right? Try and get it close to the skull. And then the right hand side goes under that middle. Sorry, sorry. And then. I'm gonna do it one more time. So your left goes into the middle, going under, and get the next strand. Goes into the middle and to the left, to the right. Sorry. Then I'm gonna add one more. Goes underneath into the middle and to the right hand side. So now your left hand goes under the middle and then the right hand goes under that middle section now you continue braiding as normal that was so stressful this is what it looks like I think I did a pretty good job for my first knot list <laughs> will we be able to do it like when we're here I have no idea am I gonna change all these at the back not a chance I'm not spending another 10 hours not a chance also, this hair isn't itching like my scalp, so I wouldn't say get it because it's, it's actually been handling pretty good. No, but actually I'm proud of myself. Hey! You can really do anything you put your mind to, everybody. I'm going to braid the rest of the way and then band it up again. Also, last night I was watching movies because I didn't know how else to occupy my time. So I watched like about three movies. Three. The third movie is when I fell asleep because I was like, I can't be awake at this hour. If you have any movie recommendations, let your girl know. Good morning, everybody. I am tired. I finally, finally finished. The tallying up, the rounding up has been Con conducted <laughs> I have no idea I spent a total of 18 hours consecutive hours doing my hair it is Tuesday now I woke up this morning I was like really do I really have work today because I would just love to sleep in I started from the back like that and then I just brought it up twisting my hand as I go and I folded it in like that if you leave it like this it will unravel so here you're going to bend that part over. Dipped it in hot water for 30 seconds, dried it with a towel, and then I unraveled it immediately. Remember how they were like flat, near? They were just like, 
no body no volume no character so i said okay let me try something and i just started pulling them apart so like i took it and i pulled it like that and then we got that and i was like this is what we need and so i did that throughout my whole head so in terms of the back do you hope it's like not like huge gaps holes in the middle if there is this was my first time, so we pardon me, okay? It's a pardon for me. Um, but yeah, this is how she's looking. If you can do it, try it, let me know. Catch you guys later. Goodbye.